Hello guys, I'm Rebel and welcome back to Anybody Can Code Python series. In the previous tutorial, we've learned about conditional statements and today we'll be learning about loops in Python. So what are loops? Say for example, if you want to print the range of numbers 1 to 10, one way you can do it is by using the print statement 10 times. Suppose if you want to print numbers ranging from 1 to 50 or 1 to 100, then repeating the print statement several times seems inefficient. So in such cases, we go in for loops. So usually loops perform the job of repeating or iterating a set of statements until a specific condition becomes false. So basically in Python, there are two types of loops, for loop and while loop. Firstly, for loop iterates through all the elements specified in a sequence. So this is the syntax of for loop. Now, for example, let me replace this item with a variable i and the sequence with the range function. So this is the syntax of range function where I will replace the start value with 1 but basically the default value is 0 when you don't specify the start value and now I will replace the stop value with 10. So this is a mandatory argument and finally I will replace the step value with 1. So it is obvious that it ranges from 1 to 10 with an increment value of 1 and now let us replace this body of for loop with a print function to print all the elements of the sequence. So let us run this. Like you just saw, all the numbers got printed from 1 to 9. What happens here is, firstly the variable i becomes 1 and then it gets displayed. And then again it goes back to the loop, gets incremented and gets displayed. So this process gets repeated until the variable i reaches the stop value 10. And here you can also observe that the stop value 10 has been neglected. So guys, here we have used the range function to display the numbers from 1 to 10. And similarly, you can use any sequence type such as a string or a list or a tuple or a dictionary. Now let's declare a list. C since is equal to summer. Bring in and now simply call the name of the list in the for loop like this seasons. So let's run this. So all the items from the sequence list got printed. So there might be situations where you would like to know the count of items present in a sequence. In such a case, you can use a special function called as enumerate which apparently adds a counter to each item. So you can use this enumerate function this way. Let's run this. Now you have got the counter values as well as the items listed this way. So here since the count is 3, you get to know that there are 4 items present in the list as the count has begun from 0. And guys similarly you can also change the start value like this. Seasons comma 1. So let's run this. So you can see that the count has begun from 1. So yeah that's how for loop works in many different ways. Now moving on to while loops, while loops are just similar to for loops, usually while loops execute a set of statements until a certain condition becomes false. The main difference between a for and a while is that for loop iterates a set of statements for a predetermined number of times. 
But when you don't know how many times to display a set of statements, you go in for while loops. Now the same program where we display the numbers from 1 to 10 using for loops can be implemented by using while loops. So initially, always remember to initialize the variable when you are planning to use a while loop. And now let us replace this for loop with a while condition while i less than or equal to 10 and then print all the numbers using the print function and finally increment the value of i after each execution. So let us run this. So now we got the expected output using while loops. In the same way, you can also print a multiplication table using a while loop. So firstly, let us get a number from the user for which its multiplication table must be printed a is equal to int of input of enter a number to display its multiplication table. Here you already have the numbers ranging from 1 to 10 and all you have to do is multiply the user input and number with these 10 numbers. So that can be done by using a simple print function. So let us run this. So now we got the multiplication table using while loops. Now let us try to do the same using for loops. For i in range it should range from 1 to 11 with an increment value of 1. So let us print this. Like you can see, we have implemented the same multiplication program using a while as well as a for. But for seems more efficient because you do not necessarily have to initialize or increment a value which seems mandatory in the case of while loops. And guys, that's all for today. You can try writing some simple programs using loops. Post your doubts in the comment section. Stay tuned and see you all in the next. Hey YouTube, how are you doing? Stay tuned to Facebook for more awesome videos. Don't forget to subscribe.